Okay. Well, we're back. Continuing the journey. So we have two chapters left, chapter 12 and chapter 13. We will be doing chapter 12 and chapter 13 together. When we last left off, we found out that the land of Arcadia is currently under attack by a invading force known as the Tyrell. And in the land of Stark, a conflict erupted with the two vanguard dragon kin, one Cortez, and one was the leader of the Church of Zotac. We have signed up to be a colonist and are currently in a space station awaiting deployment. We are trying to find the previous guardian of the balance. Uh, make sure that both the land of Stark and Arcadia do not overlap or combine. And so right now where we're at here is... Everybody looks tired and lost. Restaurants, doors, casinos, bars, all designed to squeeze those last precious few dollars out of the colonists' pockets. Well, at least they won't be needing money where they're going. I didn't know it could look so beautiful and peaceful. Again, I've said this before and I'll say it again. The whole idea of the longest journey, the land of Stark, exploring space and having colonies where people are being exploited is absolutely not realized. In fact, it's one of many plot lines from The Longest Journey that do not get resolved whatsoever. If you got more than one suitcase with you, this is where you have to dump it. The bastards probably raid the contents and sell it to the stores after clearing the hall. It's a station guard keeping the colonists out of restricted areas. In other words, making sure we don't get out of this hall. The interesting thing about, um, I just realized this says fish and trips. What is a fish and trips store? It's not chips, it's T-R-I-P-S. Anyways, chapter 12 is the last truly traditional adventure gamey part of this game. Chapter 13 is really just a denouement of sorts. So we have the restrooms right here. We need to, if I remember correctly, go to the men's restroom. There's got to be a real emergency before I set foot in a man's domain. That's the men's room. A realm of great mystery and foul odors. Okay, well then we'll go to the ladies' room. It's locked. There are 300 women here, and the ladies' room is locked? Good uh, God! Right, we have to detect that the ladies' room is locked. And then April Ryan will have the constitution to use this the This is one ritual. journey I prefer not to embark on. Deep breath. Try not to breathe. Instant heat for that special moment when manly vigor is required. Fast. Ha! Their secret revealed. What? I, I, I've always felt like, why is there 
Why is there Vi a Viagra machine in a men's restroom in the colonists? What? I I've used many Thank a public you for restroom. Purchasing instant heat, the number one source of manly vigor. Please be advised that excessive use of instant heat, the number one source of manly vigor, can cause involuntary spasms and discharge. Let's try to eat them. Ugh, no! We have to move this trash can, not that one. And we'll find a little I feel like I'm spending hole. my entire life pushing trash from one place to another. Weirdest thing, that. Hey, looky. It's a hole in the wall. Cleverly concealed. You gotta hand it to them. They know security. Use the coin. I feel like this is not a massive leap of logic because I think we've all used coins, especially quarters or large coins, to untwist things. So I have no problems with that. Okay. The grill is now open. I forget if there's anything we need to pull from the toilets, but... Pretty sure not. I don't even want to find out. Yeah, we don't need to find out. So let's go inside the passage. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Looks like it leads into a larger ventilation or service duct of sorts. Ah, uh, yes. This. So, this is basically signifying where we're at. This is basically a fast travel system. So, this is the restricted area. We want to be able to go here. So, right now we can hot swap to the men's restroom, service duct number two, and service duct exit number one. Let's go to service duct number one. Now there is a security camera here. It's a surveillance camera. It's connected to the station feed via an optical cable. Who's there? Hey, we gotta go hold on, out of stop here. right there. Surface duck two. Now we need to play a Harmless prank on a man. Who's just trying to do his job, but working for enough? the wrong forces. Ah, what the hell. I'll use all of them, just in case. It's not as if I'm going to be needing them myself. What the heck are you doing in here? This is a restricted area. You're going back to the pen with the other colonists, Missy. We have to get caught. Now we need to get into the restricted area one more time. Okay.
think we just go straight to the guard's office, right? It's one of the station guards. I spiked the guard's coffee with a bit of synthetic leaven. I think we just stick around here until he drinks the coffee. Not while there's somebody in the room I can't. This doesn't taste right. I feel... Mother of God, I really feel... God damn! Madam Joy's pleasure suites on the promenade had better be open. This constitutes an emergency! I think that man is going to see a prostitute. All right. So we got a security map, a computer, and a series of screens. It's a bank of security monitors connected to cameras around the station. Check hmm. out this computer. I think this is a registry of all the prisoners on the station. Let's see. Yeah, cell block registry. Cell number one, Agusty Bryan. Cell two, Ruth Pawani. Cell three, Morgan Anger. Cell four, Hammer Hansen. Cell five, reference G. Holloway. G. Holloway? Gordon? That's gotta be it. The Guardian's in cell number five. Look through this coat. There's something in one of the pockets. It's a short and thin cylinder. A magnetic key, I believe. That might come in handy. Ah, I found a key. I wonder what I'm going to do with this key. Cell block. Airlock. Cargo bay. So for those wondering, what are you looking at, ZP? What the fuck is this? So a green light means the place is not being guarded at the moment. A red light means that it is being guarded. Now we need to go to cell block one, one, two, three, four, five. Five. So we click the red dot. Order off duty. Roger that, Central, taking a break. Out. We will exit. The problem I have with this is that they don't really give you a great idea in terms of what each of these corridors mean. So I believe we need to walk to the far corridor. Speed this up, and we will go to cell block. Five. We can't interact with the other cell blocks, just five. What's currently in the lead? Uh. Probably. The puzzles of Drowned God. Worst puzzle I've ever played? Nine Men's Morris or 
the Morse code puzzle in Drowned God. some tricky stuff with uh, Indiana Jones. The rubber ducky puzzle in this one's also no joke. Hello. You are a hard man to find. You. You speak Navin. Are you from Arcadia? No, but I have had a lot of practice. I I'm a shifter like yourself. And as it turns out, the next Guardian, although I'm Ooh. currently in denial... Another one that ranked pretty high April, was the April digs Ryan. getting the rodent Adrian, puzzle. Have you come to free me? Or to question me more? I'm with the good guys. Well, I'm all that's left of the good guys. Yeah, the dig has that the weird balance. where you have to create it the contraption and capture a, I did not want to a leave rodent. My, the Guardian's realm, but I... I had to. Nobody's blaming you, but if we don't get moving soon, we won't have time to save I the world. I, I gave worlds. trapping the rat in the dig I'm a ten out of ten. My head around that concept. What do we do? You just keep close to me, and let me worry about that, okay? I've had some practice in subterfuge lately. I will do as you say. Atlantis the Lost Tale had that weird puzzle where you need to, like, get the uh, white boar. I'm trying to see if I gave anything in Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis a 10 out of 10. Ah, right. Getting the moonstone. On the team path at Crete in Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. I definitely did give that a 10 out of 10. I'm trying to see if Wit's Path I gave anything a 10. Yeah, the comb metal detector got a 10. Did I get soft locked on the duck puzzle? No, because I've done it before, but I did explain how you can enter that weird fail state. Because even in the Steam release, the fail state on the rubber ducky puzzle is still possible. Which is goddamn ridiculous. Oh, I click exit right. Um, They never explore what happens to this dude. We definitely learn what happens to uh, Gordon in Dreamfall, but they do not talk about this guy, the former guardian of the balance.
Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out. Go off duty for the airlock. Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. Go right. Now we will go to the airlock. I'm not waiting for this fucking animation to play out. But yes, the uh, soft lock on the ducky puzzle, the fail state for the rubber ducky puzzle, still puzzle, still possible to get even all these years. God, this guy walking. What I understand, this is a gateway to the Guardian's realm. A wormhole, something like that. It's somewhere outside the station? Not far from this metal box. No, not far. I can sense it. It calls to me. Perhaps, perhaps a day's journey on foot. Whoopsies. We'll be going a lot faster than that. Trust me, stay here while I get everything ready. Don't go anywhere, okay? I will not. Believe me when I say I do not want to go anywhere. This place frightens me. It is weird to be told that this dude, this guardian guy. Just right here. I'm going to try and find a way to get us through the wormhole. He's an all-knowing, omnipotent force, and he has no fucking idea how to deal with or process what's happening to him right now. Ugh. And anyways. And let's press the red button. a single person pod used to maneuver outside the station to do general maintenance and um, clean windows I guess we used to run simulations of similar pods back in school just for fun oxygen filter damn the filter's missing oh no the oxygen filter is missing I guess we got to Gotta get a filter for the oxygens. Now we gotta go back to the office. I forget what the exact terminology of this puzzle puzzle design of. I'm orange. You got to move this spot here and this spot there. Move them here. Move them there. It's a little bit Tower of Hanoi like. Roger on that command, Central. Moving into position. Out but not quite. Oh, 
guess we'll now go to the cargo bay. Roger that, Central, taking a break. Out. A lot of talking for these two chapters. I'll just warn you now. Where you, um, do we go the? I think we go the left corridor. I think we go to the left corridor. I'm trying to think. Okay, yep. To the cargo bay. Oh, these long corridors. What is the benefit of the game having these? Oh, God, this is going to take ages. That's... T11 up there and V413 down there. C34102 <coughs> D991 to 4 and E2019. <coughs> Phew. Q453031 and 33. Whatever happened to 32? Uh, and L93, L94, and L10H. Let's get a funny little dialogue sequence with her observing boxes. G421 to... This whole row seems to be the G42 series. G9810, 13, and L1010, 11, and 12. E fourteen eighty nine to one oh two and L ten nine It's an inventory database of all the parts stored in the cargo bay. Let's use this terminal. I'll do a quick search for the oxygen filter I need. Pods, spare parts, oxygen filters. Bingo! They've got a bunch of them in stock stored at L109. L109. A whole lot of boxes. E fourteen eighty nine to one oh two and L ten nine. L ten nine, that's the one. Okay. Now let's go back to the office. This is not hard. This is just time consuming. So now we need to get back to the airlock. Roger on that command, Duty. Central. Moving into position. Out. I'm trying to still figure out how many uh, write-ups The Longest Journey will need. I'm thinking two.
Roger that, Central. Taking okay. a break. Out. One of the biggest mistakes that Dreamfall The Longest Journey makes in comparison to Longest Journey has to be the inclusion of death. Game overs. This game does not does has really clever ways in which it does not kill you. And yet it still has tension. Right, we got the oxygen filter in. Let's press this yellow button now. Press the yellow button. Step into this machine. What is it? It's a pod, a sort of exoskeletal spacesuit. Oh hell, like you have any idea what I'm talking about? It will protect you when we travel to the gateway. That's all you need to know. How do I use it? Well, you don't. Or at least you don't. I will launch myself right behind you, and then I'll come to get you. We'll go through the gateway together. I understand. One thing, April. One thing, April. When we get to my... to the Guardian's realm, we may be separated. And I must give you a warning. Of what? Of the three trials before you get to the Well of Making. There are more trials still? I thought that since I had the disc... The disc is but the key, and a replacement for the disc that was broken when I... when I deserted the tower. You will still need to prove your worth to the balance, that you can take the responsibility of being Guardian... Yeah, Adrian years. gets absolutely nothing in both okay. Dreamfall so as well as what Dreamfall are chapters. These, uh, three trials. The first trial is a trial of might. Defeat a powerful enemy using your talents in war and in magic. Great. I have absolutely no magical or warrior talents whatsoever. And the second one? The second trial is the trial of spirit. Face that which you fear the most, the darkness in your heart to go on. Spiders? You may not even be aware of your deepest fear, April. It is locked in your heart. The third trial is the trial of matter. To get to the well of making, you must cross an apparently insurmountable barrier using whatever means at your disposal. That sounds like the easiest one. So that's it? Pass through those trials and I'm home free? Yes. Like I said, there is a chance I might not be there with you. And in that case, you must make your way towards the tower. Okay, got it. Now, let's hurry up before somebody finds us here. Go into the pod and don't worry, I'll be right behind you. This is all a cutscene. Nothing to worry here. Chapter 13 will be very short. But it is quite cool. I will warn you. We are in the home stretch. A lot of talking bits here. And chips. This always gave me a Final Fantasy VIII vibe. This 
came out before or after? After, right? February 11th, 1999. but only by a few months. Anybody here? Did not expect the space stuff. Are you saying that about this or Arcadia Final Fantasy VIII? Arcadia was about as alien as my bedroom. What are you saying? Never seen that outside of a Picasso. Both really? Yep, both really. Now we actually want to read... Um, We want to read April's diaries now because um, we're coming to the end where we will not be able to interact with any of this stuff ever again. So, Monday, August 7th, 2020, 2209. I'm in space. In space. Can you believe that? The trip here went pretty smoothly, all things considered, and my bm colonist's outfit looks pretty sweet on me believe it or not but enough of the kidding around i got a job to do i need to get away from these colonists before i actually get shipped to some far off planet then i need to rescue the guardian from wherever it is he's being kept and together we have to get out here there into space and open up the wormhole once we're inside the guardian's realm we're home free i hope Adrian told me that, once I arrive in the Guardian's realm, there are three trials I must pass in order to get to the tower. The first is the trial of might, the second the trial of spirit, and the third is the trial of matter. Considering what I've been through so far, I don't think I'll have a problem with either of them. But you never know. Best to be prepared. I do wonder, however, what my greatest fear may be. It's her dad. It used to be water, but now that I can breathe underwater, I don't really have that phobia anymore. As for spiders, hey, they're disgusting, but I've fought the Gribbler. No creature, great or small, can scare me anymore. No, it's got to be something more personal, something I've probably blocked out, but what? It's her father. That must be the Guardian's Tower. It's either very small or very far away, and from what I know of the balance, it doesn't settle for economy-sized. I think I'm in for a long walk. All right. Walk to the tower. There's the second pod, but I don't see... Adrian! He's not in here. So he must have survived the landing, but where is he? Adrian? Adrian! Yo, Adrian! I say with a mouth full of vinegar before, chips. So I'm making progress very slowly. There's nothing out here. It's completely barren. Is there anything else in there? Oh, no. I 
forgot, this is probably going to be a quick stream, because there's not a lot to this. Oh, God, not that thing well, again. no, it's, it's even chaos. Than before. I thought I couldn't leave Arcadia. I had no idea it could follow me all the way here. Okay. Hey. How do we beat this thing? This thing has grown since I last saw it. If it's not stopped soon, it'll consume everything. Talisman doesn't seem to affect the vortex. Maybe its magic isn't strong enough. What if I use my golden ring? I use the stone disc. I have to combine items to do something with the talisman, obviously. So bind magic potion. I never understood what the bind magic potion does, other than maybe... I don't know what the game is implying with the bind magic. aspect of this. I'm orange. If I had wings, I could fly across. Since I don't, I'll just have to head back down to the desert and try to find my way around the chasm. this it looks like home it's home it's not it's like a projection but it's definitely the kitchen back home the way it used to look when i was eight or nine god now what's happening to me what who's there i think this is a good scene I got you something special. Dad? Daddy? Is that you? Hush, pumpkin. Come here. Daddy's got something for you. Please, Daddy, don't hurt me. Didn't I say to come here? Come here right now, bro. Daddy wants to give you something, pumpkin. Come on. Uh. I think. I'm pretty sure this is just modern technology is not cooperating with this game. I'm in my Sunday dress, looking my best for church. Um, I don't know why her ears are like this. I knew his head was not going to do this, but basically... Come to Daddy Pumpkin. Come to Daddy. And I will make everything... Glorious. Yeah. Diary? No, it's the ring. Right. Basically, it's implied that she was abused as a child. Daddy, please, you don't want to hurt me. You're not a bad person. You're not. Really, d don't. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your daddy. You came into our lives and you destroyed us. You took advantage of us. You're a frightful little beast. But daddy, you gave me this. You gave this to me, Daddy. You do care. You do love me. You're just not very good at it. No. You destroyed me. 
us. We were a, a family, and you... God, forgive me. What have I done? What have I done to you? You did nothing, Daddy. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault that I got hurt. I... I'd been drinking, and I... She was so beautiful. My little April, you were so beautiful. We wanted to give you a home. We wanted to be what your biological parents couldn't be. So remember, uh, April turns out she's actually a dragon kin. We brought you home. I'd had a few drinks with the guys. I was feeling, feeling a little dizzy, and and then your mother, she says to me. And so she was adopted. Hold, hold your baby girl in your arms. And I take you, and I hold you, and you... You look up at me with such startled eyes, like... Like it's the first time you see somebody like me. I fell in love with you, my little baby. You were so beautiful. And you smiled at me, and then I... I don't know what happened, but I was I was taking a step forward, and I stumbled. You fell to the floor. You didn't cry. You didn't even whimper. When the doctors told us you would never walk, oh, my baby, I couldn't stand the guilt. I, I don't know why that made me into the monster that I am. Why I decided that hurting you was the only way I could face my shame. When you started walking, and then getting better and better at it, it was like you were mocking me. I was such a fool, a selfish fool, and now I, I lost you. Forever. I forgive you. Do? Yes, I forgive you for everything. I forgive you. I forgive you, Daddy. Now, if you're going to ask, oh, wait, if she's a dragonkin, they must explore that in Dreamfall and later in Dreamfall chapters, right? No. They completely discard that whole part of her plotline completely. Like, not even, like, baby steps, like, completely. Finally, I thought I'd never make it here. Anyways, I think that scene is done well. Oh, great. There's a large canyon circling the tower, and there doesn't seem to be any way across. I'm starting to think this diary's magical or something. No matter what happens, it's still as good as new. Uh, let's... Hey, we gotta get one last scene with Crow! What? 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 Hello, old friend. April, what the heck? What happened? Yeah, what did happen? You're asking me? I was just um 
helping this cute little sparrow with her new nest up in Riverwood. Next thing I know, there's a blue light. Is this then... the end of the game? Yes. I thought for sure I'd been shot by a hunter's arrow and that you were an angel. Then I had a look around the place. This ain't heaven. I mean, this ain't heaven, is it? Sure it is, Crow. And I'm the Archangel April. Sweet. Are there any other birds in heaven? Hmm? Are there? Are there? Pretty ones? Hmm? We got all the dodos you could ever want. Oh, that's great. That's right. Dodos? Dodos? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, I see. You are kidding me. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. Why the heck did you bring me here to have a good laugh at my expense? I need to find a way across this canyon and into that tower over there. Why don't you just flap your wings and fly then? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I kill myself. Flap your wings and fly. Oh, baby. Ooh, that's a zinger. I gotta write that down somewhere. Wait, wait a minute. Oh, <laughs> flap your wings and fly. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, when did you ever need my help? Oh, sure, you brought me along. Let me do your dirty work once in a while. But come on. You could have done just as well on your own. I mean, you just left me high and dry at the end there, didn't you? Just up and left without a word of goodbye. I didn't mean to leave you like that, Crow. But you couldn't come with me. Oh, sure. Use me, then leave me. Don't worry, I know how that works. I'm not half as innocent as you seem to think. But I thought we were friends. I have a hard well, we time not friends. relating Good with friends. Crow here. That why you gave me the name Crow? Oh, I thought it was nice, all right. Real ring to it. Until I found out what a crow actually is over there in Stark. Crow? Right. Crow. The sneakiest, dirtiest, most That's not true at all. Bird there is. Those are seagulls. Like sneakiest, wreck. dirtiest, most you despised birds? No, that... To chase us that off with, those are you? seagulls. I mean, crows are so stupid. They're scared off by straw people dressed in rags. <laughs> and that's the name you come up with? That's not crow? true at all. I think <laughs> almost all humans accept that crows are incredibly that's smart. Not... No? No excuses. I can't bear it. Oh, the pain. The pain. That's all I am to you, a flying flea bag? I'm sorry. I can't bear to look at you anymore. I gotta fly. Stay and shut up. I But yes. you gave Ravens me that are name also because smart. of a cartoon character I loved when I was a kid. His name was Crowboy. Crowboy? He was the star of a series of what we call animated cartoons. It's like puppet theater. You can watch on a canvas or a screen. Puppet theater. I love puppet theater. Crowboy was just the coolest bird there ever was. He was a crow and a cowboy. And he had a hat and a lasso and an albatross called Old Whitey that he rode on. He had an albatross? His own albatross? And every week he'd come to a new town where the bad guys were making life tough for everybody else. And he'd sort it out I like a real hero. Doing an albatross reference? Hero? Crowboy? So that's why I called you Crow. I figured you're not a cowboy. So it'll be just Crow. And besides, I think crows are cool. Oh, damn. Got right. Yeah, did you, you know, damn, you know, I, bruh, me and my big beak. I couldn't keep it shut, could I? I had to say something stupid. I'm so stupid, dumb, stupid, stupid, dumb, dumb, stupid. It was a misunderstanding, Crow. It could have happened to anybody, even good friends, especially good friends. Yeah, yeah, but, but. But I'm so stupid. Are you gonna keep beating yourself up? Or are you gonna help me? Time's running short. Crow is of actually good in you. Dreamfall. Anything for you, April. In Dreamfall Just chapters. Crow what to do, and he'll do it like that. I can be a hero too. Boy, like he is Crow one boy. of many characters like Brian okay, Westhouse that really suffer.
What happened to you after I left? Let's talk to Crow first. I just flew around for a bit. Would you believe it? I actually went back to Mercuria Harbor to find the old man again, see what he was up to. I kind of miss him. I mean, I hate him and I hope his hair falls out, but we were together for 20 years, you know, and there were good days. Well, one yeah. at least, Crow's, one good day. Crow's story arc Anyways, in Dreamfall chapters. He was gone. Not, not good. Not a trace left of him. Either he drowned or he got out of town with the rest of them. What's going on in Arcadia now? Don't you know? There's a great big war going on, that's what. The Tyrant are rising against the nations of the Northlands, and Mercuria has been evacuated. A lot of people are getting killed, and it looks like the Tyrant might win this time around. Tyrant. They got this Tyrant, that was the huge, name. swirling, chaotic-looking magical weapon on their side. Uh, not anymore they don't. Really? Well, then maybe our guys do stand a chance after all. It was looking bleak there for a second, believe you me. I was even considering brushing up on my Tyran. Ian, or whatever it is those barbarians speak. Sounds like a bunch of guttural rubbish to me. Like, I'm not particularly refined, you know? Do you know what happened to my friends? Do you know what happened to my friends? friends? Sorry. No, oh, wait, 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 I think. That Benar you've been talking to? Abnaxis? I think I saw him heading north at a great speed. And Mr. Westhouse was kind enough to share a cup of whiskey with me when I went to ask him if he'd seen you. Good stuff. Bad. Bad hangover. Other than that, I don't know. Sorry. Any idea what we should do? You're asking me? Me? You're actually asking me for advice? Me, huh? Don't see nobody else around, do you? I don't perform well when I put on the spot like this, you know. But, okay, I'm thinking. I got wings. If you need some flying done, I'm your man. Bird, I'm your bird. Thanks, Crow. Anytime, babe. I mean, ma'am. Miss. April. 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 Crow, I need you to fly down into the canyon to see what's below the fog. Into the... canyon? Below the fog? Are you scared? I didn't say that. It's just... well... Fog clings to my feathers and... and... Would Crowboy do it? Crowboy would do it, but he'd be careful not to get hurt, and he'd come right back up again if he saw anything remotely dangerous. Of course. I love oh, this. I, I think tight. this is really I'll fun. I'll be back soon. So what did you see, Crow? What was below the fog? You're not going to believe me. What? I told you, you're not going to believe me. Just tell me what you saw. Nothing. Nothing? As in nothing out of the ordinary? No, as in nothing at all. The absence of anything. Below the fog, there was nothing. It was terrifying. Until you've seen what nothing looks like, you won't be able to fully appreciate something anything at all i used to hate this blue sand i mean blue sand what the heck now though i love it it's sand and it's blue it's something not like that nothing down there it was freaky so there's no way i can climb down we gave this poor crow an side. existential crisis you'll fall into the nothing i'm telling you i don't even think time passes down there you'd be falling through nothing forever damn
canyon's filled with dense fog blocking my view, but it's definitely a very long way down, and the walls look much too steep to climb. I'd love to have a look at what's down there. Crow, can you fly across the canyon to the base of the tower? Can a chick lay eggs? Well, I know you can't, but... Yeah, I can do that. Um, what was it you wanted me to do again? Just fly across the canyon and see if you can find any weird buttons or levers or something like that. What for? There must be a way to cross this canyon, and maybe there's a magical bridge that needs to be activated. I don't know, Crow. Just fly across and check it out, okay? Will do. Hang on. What am I saying? Of course you'll hang on. It's not like you have any other choice. What did you find? No bridge, that's for sure. But there's a well on the other side, on top of that conical sandstone staircase right below the tower. It looked magical. It had that no good, stay the heck away blue shimmer to it. So I didn't fly any closer. Who knows where I'd end up? That's gotta be the well of Macon. Well, maybe it can be making us a bridge then. <laughs> <laughs> Making us a bridge! <laughs> I'm killing! I'm killing today! You're easily amused, Crow. My brain's one tenth the size of yours. What do you want from me? But maybe you got a point. Crow! Maybe the one I... I'm making can help I don't us know if I like Crow, but boy yeah, howdy, they really, okay, they really go for it. I know, but still. They really go for it. I want you to get me some water from the Well of Macon. What? Are you crazy? How am I supposed to carry water back from... Oh, no. No, 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 no. There's no way I'm doing that. Come on, Crow. Your beak is perfect for the purpose. I don't need a lot of water, and all you have to do is make sure you don't swallow. Hey, magic's got its upsides, I'm sure. I mean... Where would social welfare be Don't without swallow, magic? Crow. But magic water in my beak? No way. What if I did swallow? If I'm lucky, I'll just explode or something. If not, I've heard stories, April, and none of them are very nice. Magic's not a toy, nor is it a food, and it certainly doesn't belong in my beak. Please, time's running short and the balance is at stake. You've got to help me, Crow. Don't you want to be a hero? Don't swallow. Hero? Sure, stooge. No. Oh, curses and damnation and all things mean and ugly. Fine. I'll put my life on the line, tempt fate, and risk a certain and painful death by magical poisoning if... If what? If you'll promise to pluck my fleas for the next, uh, year. One year? So honor and glory mean nothing to you? Not as much as a good flea plucking, no. Okay, deal. Now, fly! Yike! How did it go? Oh, good. Oh, we got my father go to do. What do I want you to do? I can't take the water, so you're gonna have to do whatever it is we need done with it. All right, my boy. I'm a little fire okay, okay, but they don't want a while of me to him. Okay, let me think about it for a second. Not while he's got his beak full of water. He'll spray it all over the place. <coughs> Sorry, but I couldn't hold it any longer. God damn it. I forgot if you click the uh, talk icon on Crow, 
He spits the water out. Thanks, Crow. Yep. Crow, we need some more water from the well of- Of course we do. And who's gonna- God dang it. I clicked talk instead of use. Fuck. You okay? Uh, I always. Okay, let's see. Where can we use the water? I got an idea, Crow. Well? You said there was nothing down there, right? The absence of anything. Well? The water in your mouth is magical water from the well of making. Whoa. So what if we add the magic of making to nothing? What happens then? Um. Something, right? Well, well what is that? Something's better than nothing. Fly down there and spit the water out on top of the nothing. Then get out quickly. Something will happen, I'm sure of it. I'm just not sure what exactly. Oh, well, well, okay. We got a bridge from crow vomit or crow spit. Oh, that's something all right. But what? Where's crow? Crow! 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 Oh, please let him be all right wherever he is. It's weird to think, but that's kind. Well, there's one more. There's one more technical puzzle in here. It's been a long journey getting here. This is it the end of the road. All I have to do now is figure out how to get up into the tower. I thought I'd already passed the three trials. There's always something. It's not supposed to be easy. here I guess this must be the well of making it's not as imposing as I thought it would be not even close Uh-huh. It's the well of making. It's very deep and very clear and obviously magical. Let's put the stone disc here. Nineties era graphics. Yeah, touch the hand.
reacted to Gordon. Oh no, whatever could it mean? Or no, Adrian. Thank God you came. I thought you were lost for good. My path here diverged from yours. You had to pass the three trials. You were right in warning me. This place is like a Freudian nightmare. The first psychologist to arrange field trips here will rake in a fortune. I mean, talk about shock therapy. It is a sacred place. Only the chosen few can pass through the desolation. But then why didn't my hand work on the well of making? I mean, I passed all the tests, right? That is a mystery. You are to be the 13th guardian, are you not? The balance has picked you. Your hand should have unlocked the tower, like mine did. Why did it still react to your hand? Even though I left the tower, I am still the current guardian. And I will continue to be, until you go through the ritual and take my place. Hold on. I think we're about to move. The tower is letting us in. I know I say this a lot, but uh, this blew my goddamn brain when I first played this game. I all of this. was just super impressive. I never thought I would see this place again. It's cold. Was it always this cold? I do not know. When I was here last, I did not feel much at all. Well, I'm freezing. I spent more than 1,000 years in this tower, and yet I cannot remember ever feeling warm or cold. Being guardian, there is just a balance, and our duty to it. Cannot emphasize enough feel the troops of Zoltek and there the Vanguard no were fucking emotions right. Emotions interfere with the balance. The world needs to be merged between magic and logic to prevent all of this and bullshit. And I had to be clean. That sounds horrible. It never felt that way. I was content, as far as it was possible for me to be content until the very end, when I became restless. That's when you left the tower? I had no choice. The balance forced me out. I was polluting the flows that passed through me, through this room, and it was time for someone to succeed me. So now it's... it's my turn. To be guardian. Are you afraid? I've never been so afraid in my life. A thousand years. Everything will be gone when I'm... When I'm done, my friends, my family, dead. My world probably changed beyond recognition. I know, April. I have experienced this myself. When I returned to Stark, I could not believe that all the things I knew, the memories of a life that I recalled as clearly as if it were only yesterday, they were all gone. I was lost, alone, dying. Until the vanguard picked me up from the street and imprisoned me. It shames me to say it, but that was a relief. To be fed, to sleep comfortably, to be warm. You have every right to be afraid. But consider this. Your sacrifice will be the salvation of mankind, of two worlds. What greater gift is there? What greater reward than to know you are like a god? Believe me, I could do without the reward. If there was any other way, I'd embrace it in a second. But I won't shy away from this either. If it is my destiny, then so be it. Good. To wish for the loss of dreams and emotions would be wrong. But to acknowledge it in the face of your fears, this proves you are ready. Okay. So, what now? What do I do? Just walk to the edge of the disk. The tower will know what to do. If you are the new guardian, the tower will embrace you. All right, here it goes. 
One thousand years. Now what? Nothing's happening. You are right. Then it is as I suspected. What? What did you suspect? That you are not the one chosen you are not to take the chosen place one. In the tower. You are not the 13th guardian. Dun, dun, dun. If I'm not, then. I think I may be able to answer that question, Miss Ryan. You? How, how the hell did you get here? Gordon. You didn't think your little games back at the station were cool anymore, did you? Well, aside from those moronic and useless guards. It puzzles me why Mr. McAllen could be such a visionary and yet be so lacking in his comprehension of human nature to surround himself with brainless louts. Maybe because he wasn't human. He was not. That would explain a lot. If he was not human, then what was he? You mean, you didn't know? He was your boss, and you had no idea who you were working for. How pathetic can you get? Don't toy with me, child! Don't you dare toy with me! not know what came over me. I'm not prone to anger. In fact, I'm usually quite incapable of it. Must be the environment that's... I don't feel quite right. Like there's something in here that's calling to me. What are you doing to me? I don't know what you're talking about, Gordon. No matter. I can ignore this. It's so hot in here. Don't you feel it? The heat? I'm freezing. Maybe you should lie down for a minute or two. <laughs> Maybe you should lie down, Miss Ryan. I actually have a good reason to be here, but you do not. After all, you are no longer a candidate in this race, are you? I may not become the new guardian, but neither will you. The balance will never accept you. Don't be so sure, April. I... Th that's your name, is it not? April? I will be the guardian. The balance will have no choice. Not with you and the previous guardian. Gone. And I'm... I'm... There's something here, isn't there? Someone's calling my name. Someone's... No. No. Not that. Not here. You brought it here, you stupid bitch! Stop. So what we need to do... So the Chaos Vortex actually has his emotions. And he is the impassioned, logical mind. And so we're going to use the Talisman on Gordon. No, stay away from me, don't, no! And that is the last puzzle in the entire game. again. Y you gave me back my life. I did? 
You don't sound like yourself. Are you okay? I do sound like myself. And I'm better than I've ever been, April. I I'm whole again. So it worked? The joining of two halves? Magic and logic. Order and chaos. I'm in balance now. I am balance. And it's glorious. I'm sorry for what I did to you, April. And to you, sir, I I'm sorry for everything. It wasn't you. Not all of you, anyway. It was me. But it misguided me. I, I wish I could undo all the harm I've done to both worlds. Both as Gordon Holloway and as the Chaos Vortex. But I can't undo my actions. All I can do is make sure they'll never happen again. And the only way to ensure that is by becoming the Guardian. You? The Guardian? It's my destiny, April Ryan, not yours. I was born to be the Guardian. And although the Vanguard almost managed to prevent that from ever happening, they didn't succeed. And now, I'm ready. Thanks to you. But what about me? If I'm not going to be the Guardian, then who am I? It's something I cannot answer for you, April. Only you can do that. But I don't think the universe is done with you. You are important. Just not in the way you imagine. He speaks the truth, April. He used to be the Guardian oh, now. Man. It was always his destiny, even though it was taken from him by the Vanguard. We will begin the changing of the guards now, Gordon. And you, April, thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice, your courage, your kindness. Okay, stop. You're making me feel very self-conscious. I only did what had to be done. Which is more than most people would have done. Your journey here will be remembered, April Ryan. Remembered and retold for all time. Right now, I'm only concerned about what's coming next. Where do I go now? We'll get there, Relkin. We'll get we'll get to her to scene at the end of but do Dreamfall. Not fret. This world will never hurt you again. How do I get back? I actually don't have a problem with how things matter. end in the context of Dreamfall. Walk. I think it's Dreamfall chapters until you are outside. that basically is like, yeah, we're not actually going to make it ambiguous it at all. You can go anywhere you wish. I guess then that this is goodbye. Like I said, Dreamfall is okay, other than the weird yeah, Samara, not. the Ringu, ghost girl shit. Anyway... You guys have an important job to get to. Don't let me hold you back. The story of Dreamfall is overall goodbye. good. Yeah, goodbye. Dreamfall chapters fucks everything up. And I think this last line from April is maybe one of my favorite lines in all of so video. That's the end of that. Funny. I feel almost melancholy despite everything that's happened i'm actually gonna miss this this adventure after all what am i doing now going back to school live like nothing has happened like i'm just a a normal person well it's a long way home i'll figure it out before wherever I get there. there is wherever there is Hey, hey, April, wait up! Favorite lines Where you going? Wait! Don't leave me here! I'll say, as much as I've complained about how talky and faux philosophical this game is, I think this this still works. This ending. April's melancholy about finding out her destiny's not what she thought it was. I think this works. This is the second best thing you've played for this feature. Yeah, this is a good game.
And so the story goes. Is that it? But whatever happened to April Ryan? And did that man, Gordon Halloway, become a good and just guardian? That is the end. If you had studied your scriptures, child, you would know that the 13th guardian was the last guardian to watch over the balance. Was it after his reign that the worlds were reunited? During his reign. Not long after the events I have just described. Please tell us more. Tell us what happened to April and about the reunification of Stark and Arcadia. I think I will save those stories for another night. I'm feeling tired, and it is late. I would see you out, but my legs... Thank you, Lady Alvani. We'll find our way out ourselves. Thank you again for your hospitality and for your story. And so the story goes. How strange it was to tell it again. To remember April Ryan. That now was it's such time to play long, uh, long Gabriel time Knight ago. 1. Shivers. Now, now my story is almost over as well. Uh, you're as healthy as ever. You still got a lot of life left in you. Wish I was half as lucky. Don't say that. You're okay. You can still fly. Fly, yes. <laughs> but those cute little birds, they don't seem to appreciate that. They're holding out for their young, handsome suitors, and they don't have time And if you're going to ask, is Lady Elvane like April me. Ryan, yeah. but older? Got me, Crow. Isn't that something? I guess. They answer that yeah. question. Sure. The long story... <laughs> We'll get there when we get to of Dreamfall course. chapters. The short Unless answer, no. You're not planning on going out there. That would be too you? interesting. On a new adventure? Cause I don't know. I'm kinda happy staying here. Don't worry, Crow. I think our adventuring days are over. But that doesn't mean we can't tell stories, does it? No. Definitely not. Tell me. Tell me the one about the young, beautiful warrior princess who single-handedly won the War of the Balance. Hmm. That was supposed to be the premise like that, of Dreamfall, which see. is April this Ryan being a warrior princess long, that won a war for balance. Ago, when Stark and Arcadia were still to be reunited, and then they changed their mind. And the Guardian was still on his throne. Game good. It's as uh, Jeff Rude once said, this is probably the greatest video game to come from the nation of Norway. Though the competition isn't exactly fierce. Open up my GOG account and see what I got. Okay, let's let's look at ZP's GOG account. Okay. Not accounting the free adventure games like Teenage and Beneath a Steel Sky and Temptress. Also, Still Life 2. I would prefer if I could play at least Still Life 1 before I do that. Okay, so because Atlantis 2 and Atlantis 3 are just technical nightmares to try and get to work, we've got Runway, a road adventure. We've got Flight of the Amazon Queen, D the Game. Mystery of the Druid. 
and Elder Scrolls Legend Battle Spire. Dracula 1, Dracula 2, Dracula 3. Quest for Glory 1 through 5. Oh, I do have Still Life 1. We've already done Dragon Lore, Journeyman Project 1, 2, and 3. We have Rhea, Face the Unknown. I have Shivers 1 and 2. I have both Call of Cthulhu games. I have The Legend of Karandia 1, 2, and 3. I have Gabriel Knight 1, 2, and 3. I have Return to Zork. And I've got Broken Sword 1, 2, and 3. I don't know what I want to do next after this because we've got a lot of adventure gaming to do. I've got to start playing uh, Lightning Returns. Do I need to randomize it? No, I, I, really, I really do need to play a lot of Lightning Returns. I think I'll just play Lightning Returns. Or maybe to prove Relkin that he's wrong, I might play Siberia out of spite. That's that's enough of that. Unuse FMV music. Hi right, guys. Let's end this journey. Oh no, wait. I have to. Yeah, again, I have to control alt delete this because it's a bad, bad video game. No, you're not right. That people can like different things. It's possible. It's it's a real thing. I mean, let's put this. I know what I need to do. What we need to do is we need to do what's right. Let's put this dog shit video game in the recycle bin. This is what it deserves. Go bye bye. We need the good game here. No, god damn it. Don't show. I put a. The bad video game's been put in the recycle bin. I'll never speak of it again. Poo poo pee pee bad video game Final Fantasy Nine. Actually, now I I gotta restore that. Let's, let's restore that. Uh, you may have seen this for for uh, whatever reason. Uh, I'm glad that we're officially done with the longest journey because. The Longest Journey has this weird habit of disabling clear type on both of my monitors whenever I boot it up. Which, uh, not cool? So now I have to recalibrate. Do you guys do you guys use clear type? Do you use clear type? I I think clear type is a godsend. Um this 
this one. No, this one. It's it's a godsend. I have a second monitor that desperately I need to recalibrate the uh, color because I can tell the difference just by having these two monitors side by side. One is just a simple office monitor that I, it's like a 1080p monitor, and then this main one has the good stuff. Anyways, yeah, like I said, I'll probably be playing uh, Lightning Returns. I'll take like maybe a one or two day break from streaming before I do that. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to have to play Lightning Returns. Should I Should I finish? Should I finish? I've been thinking about this. Should I finish Zelda 2? I think I want to try and finish Zelda 2. All right, everybody. Goodbye. Good night. I uh, have a great rest of your day, a uh, week. If you've already entered a new day, have a good one. I I enjoyed that. Bye. Peace. Peace be with you.